say you like I heard you like twice. Did you? Weird. So we're like ten yeah. seconds out of the job. Sorry, robotic. Oh, I think I know why. Well, it's certain. I mean, that's relative. And this meatball. Meatball. This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. It's Julia. Well, needless to say. Who am I? This lady was. My Brad. I'm Brad. Well played, there, man. No. Wasn't Conrad. He spoke Spanish. They <laughs> did. Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like sounds you like have experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, <laughs> I've been studying it for you. I'll go look for him. I hope it doesn't roll off the boat. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. Oh, I'll check that. What the hell is that? So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mr. Julia Smith? I like look at this place. Thank you. Honestly, I wasn't sure how it would feel, but now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans eventually. Now you're speaking my language. I'm taking lessons. And I can't wait for us to plan everything together. <laughs> you just like in the top right, sort of, it just I keeps saying you find any shit. <laughs> Yeah, I found air rescue service. Uh, like some symbol or whatever on the camera. Of course, I was gonna say yes, you dimwit. I'm happy you did. The second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. Let's check out that thing downstairs. Bullet. You like a rug so you can walk all over me? Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. I'll go find them. You just relax. Hey, you see my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got. Bro, I just ran downstairs. Let's go get him. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just got here. Let me look at the bullet, please. Which one is, uh. You know, where the magic happens. What? On behalf of my family, I'd like to apologize for my brother acting like a horny fifth grader. Ah, uh, it's okay. I can do it. Ow. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. I don't like his shirt. <laughs> too Florida for you? Or yeah. not Florida, but like too holiday? <laughs> too happy. <laughs> He reminds me of the Iceman from X-Men for some reason. All right, I just get that vibe that from him. That, that's because that's the, the, the actor. <laughs> Maybe we can well, that explains quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll go get it. Beanie said that yesterday, I'm not sure. Hey. Oh, really? Yeah. What am I looking for again? I forgot what they said, told me to look for. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe I actually did it. Something in a case. Hmm. Uh, oh yeah, I going to walk quicker, don't I? Uh, 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 these guys walk like they're drunk. Uh. I couldn't have done it without such a good bro, bro. Bro. <laughs> oh, oh my god, I can't believe you that. I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> bro, 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 bro. 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 <laughs> There. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So, what do you think, Adam? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. 
From the photos Alex took, you can see the flight badge on one of the corpses. That means the crew is from Conwyn Island, smack dab in the middle of the Pacific Theater. That's what I've Called discovered. It. Reckless, all of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. Huh? Then what? Superstition? Is that it? Really? The dead don't sleep well in these waters. May sound silly enough to you all, but I was raised on this shit, and it sticks. Oh, come on. No one knows you've even been down there. I don't think ghosts can talk. You Americans are all the same, huh? No respect Rude. for anyone else's traditions. Ooh. You should have Excuse never me? gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Oh. Yeah, sure, but, you know, nothing like what Fliss is talking about. Tell us a tale. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true, and it happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? My mama's house. If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman, covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. <laughs> he of the one-track mind. The woman answers. I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an ax. Always an ax? I mean, do people even use axes anymore? <laughs> yeah, it's all about that crowbar nowadays. Cliches and all. <laughs> Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an ax. Giblets? <laughs> You know, sometimes you have to embellish the back to get at the beaver too. Yeah, I said that okay. yesterday. Okay. Okay, cool. So, <laughs> who did it? It was the well, lighthouse. I can't see nothing. The woman says, it was my brother. And she turns to the closet and says, he's hiding in there. Oh, great. Blame the brother. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet opens the door and sure enough there's a man inside but he's cut his own throat horrified he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark closer closer and he sees it's his own face and then its eyes bulge out and screams <laughs> oh, yeah, so ah, gross terrible. hey oh, super twist nice you saw that, right? Nice one, Squire. Yes. <laughs> you have me going. Pretty cool. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. 
We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. Wow. Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddies. And I'm out. That was pretty good. That that was really cool. I like how they like get the players focused on the story and then this, this scary face out of nowhere. <laughs> I'm loving this game. Man. It's beautiful. Bunk buddies. <laughs> Oh my! What the hell? Wait, Conrad. I'm Alex. No, no, no. What the fuck is going on? I broke a glass in this guy's face. <laughs> oh no, he's got a knife somewhere. These characters can die in this game. I need to be yeah. really careful what I say. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure that's pretty it's awesome? No, 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 it's not at all. I'm just saying she does something. Oh, okay. That looks like Idris Elba. <laughs> oh, that's the guy who uh, was at the boat. On the top. Yesterday. The top yesterday? And Conrad threw his money at him. Freaking cool. Oh, I didn't see that. No, no, you guys are below the water. So you fucked us. <laughs> yeah, you're just gonna stay there. I'm gonna gag her. What's up, Jess? Because <laughs> I'm looking at the, the comment in the streams. <laughs> Don't fuck up. <laughs> you ungag me now. I kind of, I kind of want to leave you. That's <laughs> I want to ungag. Wow. Really? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I think you should leave that car yet. Right. Who's gonna talk? Is that the guy you hit? No, the, the guy. Hey, come on! Hey, come on! Stop it! Where is Geeky Boy? Brad? Yeah. I don't know where he is. Oh, she's flexible. What was the other option? Talk to my lady. <laughs> no dice. <laughs> Shit. Oh 
my god. <laughs> Bitch, you thought. Oh god, I'm gonna shoot you for that. I'll be, back for you later. <laughs> I'll be back for you later. I completed 10 of those weird quick tap things, whatever. Oh my god, that voice. I can't see what's going on anymore. I just see your hands. <laughs> so you got punched. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. What's happening? Can you see it? Oh my god, you just seem punched. Please stop talking. Gotta get out of here. What are they talking about? Who gives a fuck? I'm gonna kill every one of them. Oh. Why are they so interested in Fliss? She's the captain. How they keep Conrad in character. <laughs> Oh dear. Actually, I'm just gonna say nothing. Oh, I got it, I got it. Yes! Say nothing actually helps. <laughs> <laughs> You don't need clippers to get out of those bondages, you just need to smack it on against your chest. It's easy. I don't want to agitate this guy at all, I'm not trying to kill Conrad right now. There's a certain moment in time where I want to kill Conrad. Oh Jesus, Conrad. <laughs> Bro, you literally just knocked They're on coming. the damn door. They should know that they're free. Well, they didn't see the hands. Fuck. Fuckers. I know, but still, knock on the door. Should be some kind of hit. Us. Fuck us right in the pussy. Like no one. No one else is gonna ask about Brad. Eight seconds. The storm's eight miles away. They came here on a boat. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy. Got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on the boat. Get some help. Yeah, 
Ich muss es dann oder? I can get on that boat. Hm? The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. I'll hear it. We're gonna break them during the thunder. Good call. I'll go Could have been smart. And get the boat. You guys distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Oh, I don't like this. Just wow, play Conrad. I'm gonna play Conrad. Trick for this. <laughs> I like six seconds to do this. Yes. Same time? Uh oh. Get to the boat. Shit. We didn't time it right. I didn't really have to. Because he counted down anyway. So. I need to keep calm. Hey, what the f What just happened? I may have stabbed someone. Stop, you're struggling! You want me to shit? Fine. Huh? Stay back. You stabbed someone, so I have this I have this other guy. Thank you for telling me that though. I would have lost him. <laughs> there we go. We take it out from the back. I'm the captain now. <laughs> I'm the captain now. <laughs> Take us to the queen. Get to the boat. Get out. Go. This kid's trying to kill me or such. What? Did I skip Get or the take gun. it? Should I skip or take it? Go? Um, take the gun, take the gun. I understand. You're gonna get shot. Yeah, you should have taken the gun. You, you, you waited too late. It was really, really late. I wouldn't be able to. No! Alex, this is crazy. And I also pressed the wrong button. And I pressed, I ended up trying to press Y. Why do I don't want to get hurt now? Wait. You probably screwed up with you guys. Take this. Use it if you have to. Damn it, back to the square one. You had everything good. <laughs> I, thought, I heard you say go. Sit down. Go now we're in the go kitchen. Right here. Sit. Can we just ask about Brad, please? No. I get the boat back home. Get more back home. Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule. Uh -oh. Come here. Should have left that on the fucking plane. Which one of you is going to tell me about this? Manchurian go. Uh -oh. I'm playing as first. Reminds me of like an actual horror movie. Hmm. So I guess that would explain the dark pictures. Or minus <laughs> the actual portraits on inside the narrator's wall. Hey, Aaron. You gave me your best shot. Alright! Shut the fuck oh, up! Buddy? You're welcome. <laughs> There's well, no harm in coming. just talking. You wanna talk? Keep the volume down. Oh, thanks. Sure. Why not? Hey, come on. Just pass some time. No big deal. Keep quiet. Captain says shut your mouth. You 
you shut your mouth. Did he? Like, ooh, almost. Sit still. All I got. You. Come with me. Hey. Leave her alone. To you. What the hell is going on, Alex? We need to keep an eye on the place. She's helping me. She's gotta be. Really think she is? Hey! Enough! No more talking. I can't risk my freaking Quiet. crew. Is Fliss working for them? It's so quick. It is. I had a frying pan hit me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not dodge that? I uh, no, because it was it was so quick. Why is it flooding? Did you knock the boat over? Her mouth stuck like that. <laughs> we can't leave him down there. there. He'll drown. Um. We need to get him out of there. He's not safe. Brad, buddy, come out. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Masturbating in the toilet. <laughs> Anymore. I want to go back to the beach. Oh my god, I don't want to go back to the still alive. Ah. Someone could have died. He sounds sad, he wanted someone to die. <laughs> I'm pretty very well, we're doing good, Harry. Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Attempt it? Yes. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, 
Smith. Okay. You're in agreement. Clue it is. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that too. Okay. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. Yes. But here's the thing. Oh. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. My man. <laughs> the old flask and a book trip. Probably shouldn't have said that. Yes, you should have said that. Why now I'm going to second guess everything. Everything changes.